and that the beauty of the gospel is that Jesus understands that there's gray area, right? We don't have to look any further than the woman caught in adultery. I mean, that's one of the big ones. That's one of the ten ones, right? Don't commit adultery. And yet the story tells us the woman is caught in the, I love this line, right? Very act of adultery. But what Jesus looks at in that instance is he looks at it from a relational standpoint, a loving God relational standpoint, as opposed to just a rules and regulations standpoint. So the first thing Jesus understands in that story is the fact that if the woman was caught in the very act of adultery, I mean, that's the line in scripture, which is there for a reason, because if you're caught, and this is where we can talk as adults, right? If you're caught in the very act of adultery, I'm gonna make a wild guess that it involves two people. The very act of adultery involves two people. How many people are on trial here to be stoned in the story? One, just the woman. <clears throat> just the woman. The guy's already been let off the hook. Jesus looks at that and says, there's, there's something wrong with this, right? There's something wrong with this. And we get from the story in John's Gospel that Jesus somehow must know this woman, whether it's because of the fact that he's God, uh, or the fact that as his human, his aside, he, you know, as being 100% human, and 100% divine that he might have known her from the village or something like that. And he knows her to be a good person, right? So therefore, he goes and he poses this question. Okay, the law says she should be stoned. I'm not going to say adultery is wrong. I mean, I'm not going to say adultery is right. I get it. I say adultery is wrong too. It's very harmful to families and to individuals and everything like that. Great, I get that. But... What I'm going to say is that let the one who's without sin cast the first stone. He creates this moral life that, that at least puts it in a humanizing way. That says, but God still loves her. and God's not done with her yet. So the idea that you say she deserves to be stoned, I disagree, Jesus says. He, still, he knows the sin, but he also knows the sinner. And therefore he wants to love the sinner while saying the sin is wrong, which is why the gospel ends with, he says to her, go and sin no more. 